In this fast and easy tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up an automation for your Instagram Reels. So you've probably seen them where someone comments a certain trigger word and then you're automatically sent a DM with typically a link to something that you wanted, right? And that's the reason why you commented. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to set that up for yourself and to use for your own Instagram Reels and feed posts. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is create an account with ManyChat. If you create a free account, you can have up to 1500 contacts, to unlimited flows. It will have a Powered by ManyChat branding at the bottom of it, but you can have access to pretty much a lot of the features that I'm going to show you in this video. And then once you get to that 1500 contact limit, that's when you can then upgrade and pay for a pro plan that starts at only $15 per month based on the number of contacts that you have. There's a link in the description where you can sign up for ManyChat for free. So go ahead and sign up for an account if you have not already. The next step is to download my ManyChat automation template for reels. So I'll put a link right in the description as well. And you can download that right now completely for free. It's going to make this process so much faster because you can literally clone my exact settings, exactly how I have this, this set up in many chat so that you don't have to figure out all of those little settings yourself. And you have a template that's gonna, just going to really jumpstart this for you. So that's the template we're going to be using in this tutorial. So again, that link is going to be right below in the description. You can download the template right now. Once you have signed up for your free account, and you have clicked the link that I send you via email. If you look to your screen, this is what's gonna come up. So when you click that link, this is the free template that you can literally clone to your account. So just make sure you're signed in. You'll see in the bottom right hand corner here that it says save to many chat. And if you look down, you'll see that it says save to many chat, the blue button right here. So if you click on that, it's going to save this template to your own account. You can choose like which account you wanna save it to. I'm gonna save it to my Stephanie Case education account. And then we're gonna click on view flow. Okay. So then this is where you can literally edit anything about this. And again, the template makes it very fast. So if I click on the win right here and drag it, I'm going to make it so it's not overlapped. I don't know why it automatically does that. It's very annoying, but do this so that you can vi visually see like the different steps. And this is a very, I would say simple ManyChat automation. There's a lot more you can do with ManyChat, but this is what I recommend you get started with as a beginner. And it's very simple at but very simply, when someone comments on your post or reel a certain word, that you're sending them a direct message. That direct message can really have anything you want, but the beauty of ManyChat is you can send direct links in those messages, which is what makes it so impactful, especially if you're a creator or a business owner. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually go over to this one right here, where it says send message template. So if you click on that, you're gonna be able to edit what you want that reply to be. So this is what you're going to be DMing them. So are you DMing them a link to something, you DM them a free download to get them on your email list, DM them a link to a paid offer, whatever it is that you're DMing them. I already kind of wrote you, you can see like a little message here that you can just take and tweak. So like, for example, I just noticed you left a comment about wanting a link to my, and then put the title of whatever it is there that I'm highlighting right now. Click here to access immediately. You can put the link right here. If you have any questions, hit reply to DM me back and ask away. You can obviously make this whatever you want. It does not have to be this. I personally like inputting the link myself into many chat. The other option that you can do is at the bottom, if this will go away, you can click add button and you can make it like a clickable button instead of a link in your DM. In my personal opinion, I like having a link because it looks a little more native. Like you literally did, even though it is automation, like it looks more like you personally sent a DM, right? <laughs> um, with the, the direct link. So I personally like to set mine up that way, but you can set it up however you would like. So go ahead and tweak this and make, you know, add in the link or whatever it is that you're sending them. Once you're done with that, the next thing you're going to do, I'm gonna click, make sure you obviously hit save. <laughs> you're gonna go over to your win section. So click on the win, and this is where you create the trigger. So this is like the action that that person takes in order to get that DM. Like, what is that going to be, right? And for this tutorial, I'm showing you how to do it for a post or a reel. So this is already input for you. You can also click on new trigger and add it in yourself. But if you click on, see how it's like kind of grays out when I scroll over it. If you click on it, then you can select what post or reel you want this to be active on. If you have the free plan, you have to select a specific post or reel. So you would, you know, click view on Instagram, you would select your post or reel right here. If you have a pro version of ManyChat, you can either click all post or reels or you can click next post or reel. 
So this is where I personally use next post or reel quite often because I will set this up right before I go to post and have that selected and then it's automatically doing it from the second that it is posted. But if you are using this for free, what I recommend is having this all set up and ready to go. Then as soon as you post on Instagram, come into here, select your post or reel. So like this is the last one that we did. So like I would select that certain post or reel and then update and like save this as soon as possible so that it is working for people who obviously comment on your reel. And if we hit continue, this blue button down in the bottom right hand corner, this is where you can change what the settings are as far as what that trigger word is. So think about what's that word you want people to comment in order to get access to the link that you're promising them or whatever that call to action is, right? And so uh, I, so right here, I have keyword here, just as like a filler for you guys, but it could be anything you really want. The main thing I try to think about is make it something that's easy enough that people generally know how to spell and can easily type out in the comment section, but something that's unique enough that it's not like like, you know, maybe the word cute and that like, you know, half the comments could say, oh, this is such a cute dress or something like that. And then they would get triggered as well. So you want it to be somewhat unique. I personally, again, kind of going back, I'll go back to the um, other step here. When in the option for all posts or reels, you can select that, but it's literally gonna be any post or reel. If someone comments that keyword that you choose, it's gonna trigger this. So you have to keep that in mind. So if it's something, for example, the word I might use for my online core or online program visibility, I could use the word visible, but I have to remember if I select all posts or reels, anyone who comments visible on any of my posts or reels now is gonna get triggered this automation, even if they weren't asking for it. So as much as you can, I try to select a specific post or reel or do my next post or reel because we found that we just had way too many people commenting and getting triggered automations that they didn't ask for. It's a little awkward. <laughs> so I highly recommend doing that. So if you were selecting that, that specific post or reel, you can have a little more flexibility as far as what trigger word we're gonna use. And I think it makes it easier to choose an easy trigger word like freebie or checklist or link or something along those lines without it triggering it on every one of your posts. That's just my experience and what has worked. So I'm just going to leave this at keyword here, but this is where you would literally just type in whatever you're, so let's do link, cause maybe you'll do use the link. Okay, and then we'll click continue in the bottom right hand corner. The other thing you can do is I have one auto reply set up already for you in here, but this is where when it asks, would you like to set up public reply in the feed. This is where do you want it to automatically reply to their comment saying like, yay, awesome, glad you grabbed the link, like something along those lines. I do recommend doing this and I recommend that your comment replies have or allude to making sure they check their DMs, okay? That's really important, especially a question I've gotten a lot is if they have a private account, will they still get the DM from me? If I'm like a public account, I don't follow them, right? And they will, but they have to check their DM requests. So that's all also why I like to allude to this in here so they know exactly where to look for it if they're looking for that link from me. And you can set up, I have one reply in here, obviously where it says title here, just change that to whatever it is that you're sending them. You can also set up multiple replies. So if you click on new replies here, you can set up multiple different replies. It'll automatically like rotate through them so that every comment reply isn't exactly the same. So usually I'll do something along the lines of like, done, the link is in your DMs. I send it over to your DMs, be sure to check them. Like something along those lines so they know to check their DMs. They're not just like, great, I sent you the link. And then you're like, wait, where, where did you send it, right? <laughs> so that's what I recommend doing here. But I already have one set up for you right here. And then once you're done, it looks like it's gonna want me to do this before I can save it. Maybe. Oh, once we have three random multiple replies. Okay, so let's do send, please check your DMs now. And it gives you some suggestions too, which is really nice. Okay, so we're gonna hit save right here. Okay, and then you just can look through, these are all the things you just set and make sure that these are accurate. If everything looks good to go, you're then like you saved your settings in here, but this automation is not like uh, live yet necessarily. So we're gonna click update in the upper right hand corner. And that means that the live version is good. So if it says live with a check mark in the upper right hand corner, that means it's live, it should be working. And I usually also check this when I am posting something, I will go on my like a second account and comment on the reel just to make sure the automation works. Cause sometimes you just never know. Sometimes it could glitch or you have something put in wrong and you just didn't even realize it. Another thing I wanted to mention, if you're still in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a little bonus tip right here. It's going to make your life a lot easier if you decide to keep using ManyChat for a long time and use it for a lot 
lot of Instagram reels, then you're gonna be glad you stuck around. I use this hack all of the time. So say this is a, a or automation where I am sending a link to, let's just use visibility for example. It's a online paid program that I have, like a coaching program. And say I want to make multiple reels about this with the call to action being for visibility. Like I know I'm gonna have like 10 reels I'm posting in the next few weeks related to this. And so something you can do before you go to post each of those reels, cause they're gonna have the same DM, right? It's gonna be the same call to action, the same link you're sending them, et cetera. So it doesn't really make sense to make multiple automations for every single post. And so the easiest way that I found to do this, if you come back into the automation for that call to action you want to do and click on your win, you are able to in the, well, first of all, you can click on new trigger and you can go through the process again of user comments on your post or reel and like add all those settings in. But to make your life even easier, you can actually click on the little three dots in the upper right corner right here, click on duplicate, and it will literally just duplicate all of those settings, like the automatic replies to their comments and everything you already have set up. So you don't have to like retype all that in every time, which is really nice. So then all you do, like if I'm gonna come and post another visibility reel, for example, I would come in here and duplicate it click on this and then I would select my post, right? Or click no, next post or reel if I'm about to post it, click continue. It still already has my trigger word, word right there and I can leave that trigger word the same. Click continue, already has my random or multiple replies and then just hit save and then literally it's ready to go. Like I don't have to do anything else now, which is seriously so nice. <laughs> it makes it a lot faster. Once you set up the original automation, you don't have to set it up multiple times every single time you want to use it and just makes your life a lot easier. I also do want to mention right here that I have another tutorial on my YouTube channel about how to do this, do this for Instagram stories. So if you've ever seen someone say like, you know, DM me this link or this word or send me a story reply with this word to get access to something or access to a link, I have a tutorial how to do that on my channel within a template that goes with that one as well. So we will put a link down in the description. I'll put it right up here. So you can go ahead and head on over and watch that next. If that's something that would be helpful for you. I hope you guys love this. I know you guys loved the tutorial I did on this last year. And I wanted just to make sure to give you guys an updated version of this tutorial for ManyChat. ManyChat's been one of my favorite tools I've used for Instagram. It has literally transformed the way Instagram has driven conversions for me when it comes to my business. And so if you're a content creator, if you're a business owner, like it, it's truly a game changer. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of how you can use many chats. So thank you guys for being here. If you have any questions, we are here for you and you can drop a comment down in the comment section and we regularly check comments. So if you have any follow-up questions or anything that you're wondering about, be sure to drop it down there and I'll see you guys next week on Tuesday with a new video. Bye guys.